Minecraft at its core is a multiplayer game. Sure, it's still fun to play in single player, but the true magic of the game lies in playing it together with your friends. If you're gonna play it together anyway, you might as well hop in a voice call. Or, if you want to take it to the next level, introduce a proximity chat to your server. Which means the closer you get to another player, the more clear you will hear them, and the further they stray away from you, the quieter they will become. Now that is really cool, and something that today's mod simply voice chat can do. It adds a proximity voice chat to Minecraft and it works great. But like they say over here, this mod requires a special setup on the server in order to work. So let's check out how to actually get this mod working on your server. Now you can see that this mod is compatible with a lot of Minecraft versions and also with many, many platforms. Now you might wonder, why so many? Well, the reason for that is if you want this mod to work correctly, it needs to run on both the client and server side. Meaning if you're running a fabric server and you want simple voice chat to work, you will need to install the fabric version of simple voice chat on both the server and on your own client. But if you're let's say running a plugin based paper server, you will need to install the paper plugin on the server side and then the version for whatever mod loader you're using on your own client, like fabric, forge, neoforge or quilt. Now good to know is that all of these platforms are compatible with each other as long as one version runs on the server side and one version runs on the client side. Other than that, the setup process is gonna be the same, except when you're running a proxy. But I will explain more about that later in the video. First, let's just get simple voice chat working. Now, personally, I'm running a fabric loader locally and I want simple voice chat to work on a paper MC server. So we're simply gonna click on download and over here, you wanna select the game version, which in my case is gonna be 1.21.3. And then I'm gonna choose paper for the server side. There we go. And then we wanna go to download again. Make sure to select the correct version again. And then in my case, I'm gonna go for fabric. After that, you wanna drag the plugin or mod into the plugins or mods folder of your Minecraft server. Of course, all depending on what platform you're installing simple voice chat on. And then make sure to give the server a quick little restart. After that, you wanna install simple voice chat on your own client. Now, of course, the version you need to use all depends on what mod loader you're using already. And if you're not using any mod loader yet, because maybe this is the first mod you ever install, I've made a complete video here on the channel on how to get started with mods. I would highly recommend checking it out if you're new, so I will leave the video linked as a card. Now, after installing it on your client and server, nothing will work yet. That is because we have some setting up to do in the config on the server side. So make sure to locate the voice chat server.properties file. Now, if you're running a plugin-based server, it will be inside of the voice chat folder, which is inside of the plugins folder, which on its turn is located in the root of your Minecraft server directory. If you're running a modded server though, this file is most likely located inside of the config folder. So make sure to look for it, open it up, and all the way here at the top, we stumble upon the most important setting of this entire config, the port. The thing about simple voice chat is, for it to work correctly, your Minecraft server will need two ports. One port that players use to actually join your server, and then one port for simple voice chat. Now, what other ports your Minecraft server has available, that all depends on where you're hosting your Minecraft server. I'm hosting my Minecraft server at Alienhost, and I have a little network tab here on the left of my screen. When I click on it, you can see that currently I have one port open. And this port is used by players to join my Minecraft server. But we need an additional port, which in my case I can easily open by clicking on create new allocation. There we go. It's that easy. Now most hosting providers allow you to at least have a few ports. Of course, the network tab might have a different name or might be located in a different location, but most hosting providers do have something like this. If you can't find it, I would highly recommend reaching out to the support of your Minecraft server hosting provider because maybe they're able to help you out. If they can't, meaning you truly have a single port, hope is not completely lost. There is an option for you. I'll show you in a little bit. But in my case, I'm gonna copy this port and then paste it on line nine of the voice chat server.properties file, just like that. If you don't have a second port available for your Minecraft server, there is something which you can try. And that is setting this port to minus one. Because when you set this port to minus one, it will use the same port number that is also used by your Minecraft server. However, it is strongly recommended not to use the same 
same port number because UDP on it is also used by default for the server query. Doing so may crash your server. So it might not work, but you can give it a shot. If you do have a second allocation though, I would highly recommend just using that one. Now, other than that, we have some other settings to change here. For example, we can change the bind address, which by default, you don't have to do. It should be fine as it is, but if you're having issues, you can fill in your Minecraft server IP over here. And then here you can change some general settings, like for example, the max voice chat distance. So for how long can you hear another player? The distance to which the voice can be heard, meaning if you're 48 blocks away from a player, you can still hear them, but if you're 49 blocks away, their voice will be gone. Now you can go over all the other settings if you want, but to be honest, most are fine by default and you don't really have to change them. So I'm simply gonna save content and then give the server a quick little reboot once more. Now also good to note is that if you want simple voice chat to work on your Minecraft network, the entire setup process will be the same, except that you also need to install the Velocity, Bungie Cord or Waterfall version of simple voice chat on your proxy. Other than that, everything will be the same which means simple voice chat will need to be installed on every single individual server on your entire network so all your backend servers will need to have simple voice chat installed they will all need their own individual secondary ports and on top of that you also need to install simple voice chat on the proxy server itself now if you have a minecraft network with let's say five servers max this should not be a huge issue but if you for example have a minigame server with a ton of different small individual servers then installing simple voice chat on every single one of them and allocating a second port on all of those servers to simple voice chat that can be quite a hassle the port also needs to be different for every single copy of simple voice chat otherwise it will not work so this is what you will see upon joining simple voice chat press v to set up and when you click on v it will take you to this screen now over here when you click on next it allows you to select a microphone a speaker and then you have to decide between push to talk or voice activation. In other words, do you want to hold a button in order for others to hear you or do you just want it to be voice activated? I'm just going to go for push to talk and then you need to choose a key that should be used to activate your microphone. Set it to whatever you want. I'm going to do B. That's fine. Click on next again and that will be it. So now that we're in game, you can see that everything works when I hold B. In the bottom left, you will see a little microphone, which means that currently other players inside of this server server that also have this mod installed are able to hear me and that is important to keep in mind it is still a minecraft mod even though we have a plugin installed on this server it is a mod at its core the plugin makes it so that the mod works but it's not like players that don't have the mod installed are also able to use the voice chat you always need simple voice chat installed on both the client and server side so anyone that joins your server if they want to use the simple voice chat they will need to install it on their own client as well so make sure that if you have a public minecraft server you provide a simple guide on how to do that now when now in game you click on v again you will get to the voice chat menu and over here we can customize our experience a bit so you can see currently my microphone is muted which is correct because i have push to talk enabled over here you can disable all the voice chat sounds in other words by disabling this you will no longer hear other players here with this icon you can adjust the volume which is really really nice here on the right you're able to start recording and that is very important to keep in mind with this mod, you can by default record the voice chat, so also the voices of other players. Now, if you don't like this, if you don't want to allow recording on your Minecraft server, you can disable this setting inside of the voice chat server.properties file. You know, the same file we were in to change the port. If you change this to false, recording will now no longer be possible. Of course, players can still record everything with a third-party software, but not directly with simple voice chat. Now, in-game, you can also hide all the voice chat icons if you don't like them. So now when I hold B, which is my push to talk button, you can see an icon will no longer appear in the bottom left. And when I have it enabled, you can see it will appear. But then you can also change some settings. For example, the volume, the microphone amplification, if noise suppression should be enabled, if you want to use push to talk and what the push to talk keybind is. And then of course, you can also change your microphone and speaker if that is needed. Last, we got groups. And groups just allows you to make groups. So if you, for example, have a faction 
inside of a big SMP and you only want to hear voices of those other faction members, this is how you can do it. Now, you might notice that currently there are no other players online on this server, but we can still test if everything works. By typing slash voice chat test and then your own username, you will be able to test if everything works correctly. So when I click enter, you will see it sends a ping. Now you might wonder, what does it send a ping to? Well, it sends a ping to the simple voice chat server, which exists because of that second allocation. You know, the second port of our Minecraft server. Then it's waiting for a response, which it receives. Got a response in 16 milliseconds. In other words, simple voice chat works. And everybody that now joins your server that also has simple voice chat installed on their own client will be able to hear you which is incredible. Now, another very cool feature is that this mod allows you to add add-ons. So on the simple voice chat mod ring page, close to the top, you will see a little text that says add-ons. When we click on there, you will get to a list with all sorts of add-ons available for this mod. For example, audio player. This server-side fabric mod enables uploading custom audio for music discs, goat horns, and note blocks. Now that is pretty cool. And down here, you got some download links to actually get them. Now, important to keep in mind is that these are add-ons. In other words, they are not part of the official mod. So while simple voice chat itself might be available for essentially any platform, an add-on like audio player is only available for fabric. And then there is voice chat interaction. This server-side fabric mod allows simple voice chat to interact with your Minecraft world. That is super cool. I really have to test that one out myself. Or this one for the real pros. Replay voice chat a compatibility mod to record simple voice chat with the replay mod. In other words, by installing this mod, you could in theory record a full video inside of Minecraft, which is kind of crazy. And that's it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, see you later. Bye bye.